Hey everybody, how's it going? The circus. Children go to the circus and they see the animals doing tricks, performing acts, parading in outfits that degrade them. They see the handlers petting the animal and they think the animal is well treated. That is, that is an illusion put on for the children and for the attendants and attendees at the circus. Ringling Brothers, one of the world's largest still remaining circus acts, has started up again here in the United States. Ringling Brothers is known for its long history of abusing animals. In 1929, John Ringling ordered the execution of a bull and pumped some 170 bullets into the body and then chopped off his bullet ridden head and mounted it for, for display in Houston, Texas. Ringling's cruel treatment of animals continues today. In fact, since 2000, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has cited them for improper handling of dangerous animals, failure to provide adequate care to animals, including an elephant with a large swelling on her leg a camel with bloody wounds, and a camel injured on train tracks. Transporting animals by the means of freight trains is also inhumane and completely unhealthy because trains have a high rate of staph infections and disease if an animal or a human rides in them long enough, causing trauma, behavioral stress, physical harm, and unnecessary discomfort to two elephants who sustained injuries when they ran amok during a performance, endangering tigers who were nearly baked alive in a boxcar because of poor maintenance of their enclosures. Boxcar, by the way, are commonly used to haul freight material across the United States and really have no actual truth ventilation systems in them. Failure to test elephants for tuberculosis unsanitary feeding practices. In fact, the USDA currently has opened multiple investigations of potential violations of the AWA by Ringling. At least 26 elephants, including four babies, have died since 1992, including an eight-month-old baby elephant named Ricardo, who was destroyed after the fractured his hind leg only fell from a circus pedestal. Elephants are not the only animals who Ringling to suffer tragic deaths. In 2004, a two-year-old lion died of apparent heat stroke while the circus train crossed the Mojave Desert. Repeat this. I'll repeat this very quickly. Freight trains, especially, have no ventilation systems in them. Most people who ride freight trains jam a rail spike in the door to prevent the actual door from sliding shut because if it slides shut and slams shut, heat temperatures will rise, causing certain death of heat exhaustion, heat stroke, etc. Ringling Brothers is currently on trial for allegedly abusing elephants with bull hooks and electronic prods for subjecting them to prolonged chaining. Let me make this perfectly clear. I want people who are involved in activism, animal rights activism, to interrupt these bastards. If they come to your town, protest them. Do whatever within your power or your comfort level to disrupt their business. That's all I really have to say. Because people who profit from the abuse of animals are not people. They are monsters. And monsters need to be destroyed. And like I said previously, if the Ringling Brothers Circus is coming to your town and you are an activist, I encourage you to organize a protest, a sit-in, hand out pamphlets, flyers, or do whatever means of direct action you feel comfortable with. But we need to interrupt their business. We need to expose these bastards for what they are. 
they should not have the right or the ability to operate freely and without any interference. So I do, I really honestly do encourage people if these bastards come to your town to interfere in any way possible with their business. Because we cannot allow these people to continue to abuse, kill, and treat these animals inhumanely. Because those who attend the circus, if they only knew the horror of the circus, I don't think they would send their children to these things. Rolling Brothers is a barbaric, cruel, inhumane show. So like I said, and I will repeat this over and over and over again, if you are an activist, I encourage you, I implore you to go out and do what you can to interfere with these bastards. Do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Thank you. Have a nice day. Eco Vegan out.